So let's try no geese. Ah, oh, you throw it on a crash pad. You can't do the regular mat? No, we can. If not enough, you'll just twist and get choked. Hello, friends, welcome to Silla Parta channel. Today I'll show you a uh, suplex with two sleeves with Bogdan, my student. It's for the first time for him, he never did it before. But within few recommendations, and you'll be able to do it too, even when you go live. The move works well with the gi. Will happen without gi as well. So let's look how it's happening with the grips. So, two pistol grips are the best. It can happen in sambo or judo, it's universal. So at least I see it like that. Maybe I'm wrong, right, right to me. Because in judo things move fast and sometimes I don't have enough time to look after all the changes. It's similar to suplex and uh, reverse fireman scary. I don't know how to call it. I was trying to find it found like a so usually people say suplex with two sleeves that's what we'll call it so you are in your stance get good arms or even sometimes when two people grab you two arms are grabbed by somebody else you can re-grab and relax him so you can dive under with your right shoulder under his left so if you left see it's the other way around i will not even try left i don't want to waste my time on the left arm so we have a nice crash pad here. This mat is so hard here, so crash pad is needed. So we have right stance, get two sleeves, and our goal, right shoulder, to dive under with the elbow, so-called elbow weave. All right, put him on his shoulder and create tension. If there is no tense, if it's not tense, he can release so create tension dive under and you see i create this kind of pull because i'm pulling an arm second arm we're pulling him down with both arms and diving shoulder here and real duck under the next one arms are pulled look at my legs the front leg already between his legs And we we'll step with a second leg and just arching. I hit him in the chest. If you pull hard, your shoulder kind of hits him in his chest. It's okay. We wrestlers, not dancers, will survive. And immediately without releasing grips, pin. You see, I'm pulling on the arm. I recommend when you pin after throws, do not switch your grips. If you try to switch grips, your opponent rolls out. So however you throw him, keep the grips and pin immediately with those grips. Sure. One more time. Whoop. So now, Bodia will do it. Stop. You see, a little mistake, his elbow. I can bend my hand. Goal is, is like this. You see, elbow comes through, the elbow weave. Make sure to negate his arm with that elbow weave. If you go like this, you'll have to use a lot of strength. And his elbow plays a little bit. And he'll escape. And a pin, good tension. 100% some people are like ah oh, you throw it on a crash pad so can you do the regular mat no we can let's do it i'm not afraid but you should be afraid that you lose your host so let's do it and a pin what are the mistakes the common one people lift and straighten out and then it's hard to hip in. There is no amplitude. You have to throw with your back, so to speak. And you can hurt your back. Second mistake, when you are too far. Here and 
You see, he's sitting down and you try to lift him with your back again. So your goal is to step between his legs. I've seen people go to the outside, step to the outside. That leg goes here. But if you're with a good partner, he can do inside trip. You'll fall. So go between legs, both legs, step in the same spot between legs. You'll have a way larger amplitude. The wider the legs, small amplitude. If they narrow, amplitude is there. If you're a beginner and you don't have crash pad, you can do it like a, like a roll for your uke, for your partner. Was it hard? Roll by yourself. It will be easy. I advise him to do a roll by himself. Like c comply a little bit, you know? I, I need to do the move a few hundred times and that will be easy in wrestling. But before that, during practice, if, you, if your partner resists, firstly, you'll get tired fast. Secondly, you'll work less. And thirdly, you will not feel the move. So your partner should be maybe 30% uh, of resistance, if that. If you hold one arm, with your working arm, you can elbow with and throw him with one arm. You can do it with one arm, but it's hard. What's the defense? If somebody gets two sleeves, of course don't wrestle. I don't feel confident I don't allow people to grab two sleeves. I'll twist and break the grips in Sambo. You can block. You can prop him. Try to throw me. He'll. You cannot do it in Judo. But in order to stop him, keep your arms in a narrow position. But, but then he can do so there. So do not give him grip it up. If he's already in, Immediately try to sprawl, just like during double leg takedown. To break the distance and load up his back. He comes in and I sprawl. Let's try no gi. Different grips. We cannot hold jacket like this no more. The, if I grab like this, you won't be able to pull your elbow in. Physically, it's impossible. So, reverse wrist tie. And a second hand, normal grip. So that's the grip. Not like this. Not like this. One reverse, one regular. Thumb up, thumb down. Everything else is the same. Very easy, and it works. You know when this move happens? No gi somebody grabs your neck find a second hand once i grab that second hand or arm i want to pull my arm through so the elbow is in there and you can load up his shoulder otherwise he'll just get choked so you see pull him in pull and the same thing and throw and maybe arm lock here Combination. Wrestle, enter, and through. Over wrestle. He caught you. And create tension on the arm. And he let go in the air. Try to look back. Your neck helps, so try to look behind you when you do that move. Amplitude is large on this throw. Thank you, friends, for your attention. Thank you, Bogdan, that he fell so many times and threw me. Do not switch. We have a lot of throws. And we'll record two more throws. They coming out, great throws, very working variants. So you understand, I'm not just telling you how to do them. I'll tell you how to do it, when not to do it, the mistakes, and how to make them safe. 
If you like it, like, subscribe. See you next time.